So uh, just thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for coming. Uh, we did want to acknowledge too, because all of you have come, but there's obviously people who couldn't be with us today. And one, one couple that we wanted to acknowledge in particular 
that uh, obviously could not be with us are Kimberly's parents. Uh, they passed away years ago, but... <laughs> but I know this is a big deal for Kimberly to, you know, missing them, wanting them to be a part of this. <laughs> but I just have to say that I did not want this day to go by without including talking about them. Because if it wasn't for John and Luna Life, I wouldn't have this wonderful look as my wife. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, I never knew them because they, uh, they weren't, they passed long ago, but just from knowing what I know of this beautiful bride of mine, from knowing Micah, Charity, and Laura, and their families, I am just so blessed to be a part of their family now, and uh, I wish they, John and Linda could be with us, but uh, we definitely wanted to take time out to acknowledge them and make them a part of today's events. Uh, because we wanted to honor them and we wanted to remember them, over on the fireplace mantle, uh, you will see some pictures that we set up of them, maybe some of the things that were important to John and Linda, uh, some artwork, some books, and uh, John was a pastor, uh, Reverend John Lyman, so we even pulled out one of his old archive sermons it's on a cassette tape, if you know what that is. And so we actually have headphones set up over there if you want to hear a little clip of uh, Reverend John preaching a sermon from way back in 1992, I believe. It says there on the card. Again, this day was just so important to take time and remember who they are. And, uh, just take time if you can and just go over and just get to know them a little bit. How many of you know that God is a God of celebration? He's really into celebration. And so... A lot of people don't associate the two, but the, the Bible is very clear that he is a God of celebration. So we're going to ask blessing and then we're going to party. So uh, let's bow our heads and just give thanks for his grace, mercy, and love for each of us and providing in the abundance that we have. Father, we bow before you because of your love for us. We give you so much praise and honor and glory, Lord, because you have revealed the truths of your son to our hearts. We pray, Lord, your blessing upon Bruce and Kimberly, Lord, in this new uh, uh, marriage that they've entered into, and, and pray, Father, that they would be uh, continually built up and rooted in your love. We thank you for all those who are gathered here. We thank you for this facility and all those who are serving. We ask your blessing upon them and the food we're about to eat to nourish and strengthen our body for service to you. And now, Lord, just release this party, Lord, for a great time as we celebrate this glorious wedding. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, so you'll see that uh, food stations are open around. You've already had probably some hors d'oeuvres out there, but uh, it is a cocktail reception, so you are free to just kind of mingle around, grab food as you see fit. And uh, we will just keep this party going. We'll have some dancing in just a little bit. Feel free to answer some uh, trivia questions here on the slideshow. And uh, more presentations and more fun on the way. Make yourselves at home. <laughs> <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. Just want to say thank you again for being here with us. Kimberly and I are just so excited that so many people have come out to be a part of us. I'll tell you what, there's some good eats at this place. Isn't it good food? You guys enjoying the food? All right. Well, I wanted to introduce, you've heard their names a few times, you've seen in the program, but I wanted to take some time to just introduce our matron of honor, our best man. So please welcome Liz Lane and Michael Johnson. I'm so um, honored and excited to have been able to be part of this day that I've just been hoping and praying would come for you. And, um, you know, as you all were able to enjoy this beautiful um, ceremony, you saw how much thought and care and detail was put into it. And I know that that reflects the work that you guys are going to do in your relationship and that I just can't wait to see you guys grow as a couple and just to continue to um, have your friendship. So, um, to Kimberly and Bruce. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I also uh, just want to share um, how special it is to get to come and to be Bruce's best man in the wedding. I meet lots of people, and a lot of people tell me they're friends, but Bruce has shown me what true friendship is, because after 20 years, um, when we talk, we pick up like we've never been apart. Um, and I appreciate that, and um, over those 20 years, as Bruce has had his ups, I'm usually having a down, and when I'm having uh, my ups, Bruce is having a down, and it's, uh, it's just been a rock to have him as a friend. And to get to be in this wedding, um, after all these years of praying and um, hoping together um, is just really something special. I appreciate it. So to Bruce and Kimberly. Like a true companion, I'm not true. 
Now I need to see Flower Girls and my Stormtroopers, otherwise ring, known as Ring Bearers, because we wanted to do a little special something with them. So all my Flower Girls and Ring Bearers, why don't we go ahead and try a little bit of a dance here? And we're gonna call this song, what's it called?
see. Anybody named Cameron? Cameron? Is there a Cameron in the house? Where's Cameron? Cameron? Oh, there you are. I'm right there. All oh, right, that's for you. And then, who's Kyla? Who's that name? Is there a Kyla? Before you guys open them, what do we want you to do? I want you to open those when you get back with your mommies and daddies, okay? And then you can go ahead and see what's in there. Okay. All right, so. All right, so what I need, I need my uh, my stormtroopers up here with me real quick. So just leave your bags there. So stormtroopers, come on up. That's Evan. Evan and uh, Daniel, come on up here. I've got something special for you guys. I've got a special present for you. Now, like I've been saying, you know, these are our ring bearers. They carried the sign. They were taking care of the ring. And ring bearers, I want someone to, I want them to ring this up a little bit more. So, let's get started. So, what we have here, I decided, because these guys are into Star Wars. Who's into Star Wars? Raise your hand. Who likes Star Wars? I mean, I Star Wars. I know that. So these guys, these guys, I have called instead of ring bearers, these guys are all my stormtroopers. So what I did, I asked a good friend of mine, where's Haley? Haley Johnson right here. I asked her to draw a picture of my stormtroopers here. So we have one of these drawings for each of you guys as stormtroopers. So what you can see, you have Caleb and Jake and Evan and Daniel. And they're all wearing different stormtrooper uniforms. So for mommy and daddy, this has to stay in the plastic because it's got chalk on it. So you can go ahead and get this frame. But this was done by uh, Haley. But we have one for each of my stormtroopers here. All right. I saw the ladies how they did their hair, and I turned up to the same thing. I didn't, I thought I'd match, but I 
I did. So thank you so much. Uh, indulge me a little bit. I want to share with you a story, take you on a little bit of a journey that I got to experience with Bruce and Kimberly as well. And um, Bruce and I worked together in West Palm Beach and radio. And we played football a lot. And then after football, we have therapy sessions, sometimes for me, sometimes for him. <laughs> our, our weekly meetings were that. Well, one day, let me, let me share this story with you. Back on January 6th at 8.06 AM, I was at work doing the traffic and weather. And I got a text from Bruce, and it said this. So bear with me. I've torn this down as best I can. I wrote Kimberly an email yesterday. I told her how much I miss her. Even after all this time, I really do. I don't know how to make that void go away. I felt so deeply connected to her. She wrote back saying she thinks about me every day too, and that she was sad and misses me. We then caught each other up on our lives over a few emails. I hinted at seeing her, but she said she didn't want things to get messy between us. It was very confusing to me. So if you don't know, they have had some time apart, together and apart. And so this was during that time. And I said, Bruce, you got to throw yourself at her. Be desperate. You'll, you love her. And then I said, hold on. I'm, let me rethink that. <laughs> so he said, I've done that before. And I'm just short of begging her. And uh, maybe I shouldn't have contacted her. Maybe I'm crazy. And I just said, Bruce, you got to follow your heart. you got to do what you got to do. And we exchanged emails back and forth over the course of about, what, three hours, two hours? Right? Back and forth, and I kept saying, Bruce, you've got to be there. You, this is crazy. You're going to so regret this if you don't follow your heart. God's put this on your heart. You need to follow your heart. And he said, well, she's three and a half hours away. That's a long way to go if she's turned off by me. <laughs> and I said, she told you she's not. She said she didn't want it to get messy. And so he's, he, he was just very uncertain about what he should do. He did say at one point, Kimberly, you'll appreciate this. He goes, well, that's a long way to go. That's a, that's a lot of gas money to spend if it doesn't work out. And he said, but he said, but I think she's worth it. So he worth at least a half a tank of gas. <laughs> so, so again, back and forth, Chris was very reluctant. And then the text came in. I'm packing my suitcase. I'm going back to New Jersey. My heart could be broken like never before. And I'll have wasted all that gas money, but this is where he said, clearly she's worth it. I feel she's so adamant that this is right, that we're to be broken up right now. And I, I just encouraged him that that's the old Bruce. This is a new Bruce. That time apart changed him. And then I got the greatest text where he said, I'm on my way. <laughs> and so Bruce was on his way. And he said at one point, he said, I just stopped at a store to pick up flowers. Did you give me flowers? Yeah. Okay, probably wasn't the most important part of my day. He said, I picked up some flowers, I got her some pink roses. Now she'll know that I purposely picked out pink flowers for her, and the savage Bruce is okay with that. <laughs> and so, this was some interesting. This, I think all of us will identify with this. This was after about two hours, maybe three. He said, I'm feeling less confident as I get closer to her home. And I said, Bruce, that's normal. You gotta keep going, man. You gotta keep following this, this inside of your heart. And so he did, and then I texted him. It had been a while, and I said, you have to be close now. It's been about four hours, and I haven't heard anything. So <laughs> I'm waiting and waiting, and then all of a sudden a text comes in. It went very well. She was in shock. We both started crying. And I said, wow, Bruce, you're awesome. I said, <laughs> I don't know if you remember this. I said, Bruce Willis and Meg Ryan have nothing on you. I'm not sure if that's a compliment in your eyes. <laughs> He's not even chick flicks. He's, here's what Bruce said, and I'll finish it with this. I love the look on her face when she came to the door. I had started to walk away because she didn't answer after I rang the doorbell three times. She was shocked. She stared at me. I said, I'm either the smartest dumb guy or the dumbest smart guy on the planet for coming up here unannounced. But whichever guy it is, he still loves you very much. Then I started choking up. She hugged me and she started crying. She held on to me at the door in the cold weather for at least five minutes. That was very special. I won't tell you what I told him at that point, but I think he's sorry with you, right? <laughs> I said he could, yeah, I don't want you. <laughs> he said that's the way everything is between us. Special, memorable, and magical. So, in that tradition,
for your special, memorable, memorable, magical day and life moving forward. You're here. Love you guys.
girls love that stuff. Like, you're in. Like, you've got that connection. And we, we have tried. There have been many, many of us have tried to influence that on Bruce. That's a tough enough crap. So you have, you've really done well getting him to watch a lot of So as the sole representative from all of uh, the girls that couldn't come, we're so, so happy to welcome you. And we're so, so thrilled that you said yes to Bruce. So just so you know, this is like totally impromptu. <laughs> totally didn't rehearse this like my music. <laughs> but I just wanted someone from our family to have something to say for you guys. Because we know how hard it is that mom and especially dad's not here to do it. So I'm gonna do it. And just wanted to say how happy we are for you guys. Um, surprised at first, <laughs> and then really happy. <laughs> and I think today we've highlighted some of your guys' differences really well. <laughs> but I would actually like to highlight that from, from my perspective, watching your guys' relationship from the outside, that you two have something that's very, very compatible and that differences are part of what makes a relationship work. And what I've seen, Bruce, in you, are certain things that I'm really happy to get Kim <laughs> on board with, like football. <laughs> and so I, met, I met Bruce and I was like, wow, Kim has a boyfriend who likes football and knows it's in the theaters. <laughs> In all seriousness, Bruce, I want to welcome you to our family and say thank you for what you have been to my sister because that's what really matters to me and that's what really matters to us to see her happy. And I don't think I've ever seen you so happy. Yeah. There is nothing that matters more to me. Than just see you happy. So, I want to wish you guys the absolute best of luck in everything and just so happy for you. Thank you. I can do it. This is 
so I made a video about the gift and about the journey along the way of deciding what the gift was going to be. So um, I hope you like it and it's a thank you for always being there.
could speak to.